Hello, I'm Mrs Jenkins and I wanted to talk to you today about the MGGS scrapbook and the GRIT project. I'm hoping that most of you are aware of what the scrapbook is. A year ago, just before the nation went into lockdown, we launched the MGGS scrapbook as we anticipated that we were about to live through a part of history that would be talked about for generations to come. And we were right. Of course, I'm referring to the coronavirus pandemic. This has arguably been the most turbulent year for our community since World War II, and it was during World War II that Mrs Keane, the art teacher at the time, created a variety of artwork and collated it into a scrapbook. This is the scrapbook, in fact, that Mary Smith used to help her create the book A School Girl's War. It was that project which inspired this one, and that is clearly evident here. The drawing of a young MDGS schoolgirl bent down underneath her desk studying Latin in the war is used on the front cover of A School Girl's War, which can be found in the library if you're interested. Here, Charlotte has responded to this painting in a much more contemporary way, showing how she has been keeping safe and homeschooling where it has been necessary because of the pandemic. It is a moving tribute to the original artwork and it clearly shows a similarity between studying in school in the early 1940s to the last year. We set up Google Classrooms and invited students to submit artwork, stories, poems and letters that could be incorporated into a scrapbook which we would eventually publish. We did get a lot of responses and I wanted to talk through a few of the pieces that we have created over the last year. This piece of work was created from some diary entries posted by Mr O'Leary Rogers in the first few months of lockdown. It provides an account for future generations to understand what life was like at MGGS at the beginning of the pandemic. The aim of the project has been to include as much of our community as possible to give everyone the opportunity to record their own unique story of the pandemic and how it impacted on them. We would love more entries like this one. We have already engaged students across a range of year groups and created community work based on this. Last year, children and adults alike placed rainbows in their windows to express gratitude to the NHS and to other key workers putting their lives at risk so that most people could stay safe at home. In response to this, we invited students to create their own squares to form part of this community art piece. Each square includes the school crest, a rainbow and the school motto, non sibi sed omnibus, which we all know by now means not for oneself but for all a motto which means so much more in the context of this last year. This is the result and it shows the bright, cheerful community spirit we have shared this year. <music> Students have submitted lots of different work over the last year. Here Christina Evans submitted a poem about our magnolia tree and I utilised a photograph submitted by Isabella to create this illustration and incorporated this painting by Katie within it as well. The poem reads, While petals fell onto the green, we were indoors not to be seen. Spring flowers were blooming while darkness was looming. Summer's flames smouldered the concrete, the pathways melting in the heat, as nature's heavy smoke had us under its yoke. The wilting leaves of the damp fall may have mirrored us, but to recall, all nature by design can regain strength and shine. Now as our magnolia tree may look as bare as it can be, remember that it still can bloom, in fact, it will. In actual fact, it has, and it is such a lovely metaphor for the hope that we feel as a country as we look forward to the end of lockdown. Over the last few months, the MGGS scrapbook has morphed into the GRIP project, which stands for growth, resilience, integrity and togetherness, 
all of which our community has shown in spades over the last year. While I'm sure you're aware, as we all had the opportunity to create work or ideas for the project on Wellbeing Day, the school is raising funds to open the World War II Visitor Centre to the public. We are proud to have original World War II air raid shelters beneath our grounds and detailed accounts of school life here during the war. The school has been offering visits to primary school students to enhance their learning of World War II since 2014 and our aim is to create a centre to enhance this provision, including building a replica 1940s classroom. The aim is to further enrich the education of children by providing a fully immersive World War II experience and to provide similar education to the wider community. On Wellbeing Day, the whole school community was invited to contribute to the project with the hope of publishing some of the work in a book similar to A School Girls' War and displaying the work in an exhibition. This piece of work by Emily in Year 13 illustrates some of the parallels between World War II and the coronavirus. The isolation of lockdown has greatly exacerbated many issues within our society. Our oldest generation have arguably been affected the most and it has created the opportunity for those who lived through World War II to draw these comparisons which could enhance both the MGGS GRIP project and the education of our visitors. Many older people have experienced loneliness over the past year and this project will provide a way for them to feel a part of our community. It will allow them to talk about their experiences. The story of MGGS during wartime gives them an opportunity to be able to compare these recent experiences to those of the past. A poem called COVID-19 by Jodie and Emily in Year 9 goes like this. It all started in 2019 when the world was put in a quarantine. It started with the closure of all things we didn't need. Everyone longed to know when we would get freed. People had the option to form a strict bubble. People who exceeded got into very big trouble. People were forced to wear face masks. Both hand gelling and distancing became regular tasks. Lockdown and masks became the talk of the town, making some people feel incredibly down. Haircuts were done, banana breads baked, some people thought Covid was faked. Clap for carers became a regular thing, pots and pans were banged and voices would sing. Restaurants had to close as was a rule to obey, so the only food option was a takeaway. Homeschooling came next, making people want to wallow, and of course more measures had to follow. When summer came, holidays seemed to be possible, but not if people's paths were in any way crossable. Eat out to help out sounded such a great suggestion until cases started to spiral and people started to question. Summer was seen as a kind of celebration, but some people caved in and gave up to temptation. Most shops opened and everyone cheered, but all of a sudden, long queues appeared. With cases on the rise, measures had to be replaced. Boris, Matt and Chris had to work post haste. A glimmer of hope was then found, a vaccine, oh wow, everyone was proud. Thanks to the NHS workers who have helped us throughout, without you we'd be lost without a shadow of a doubt. We don't know what the future holds yet, but this is certainly an experience we won't ever forget. One thing we've got to remember forever is that no matter what, we are in this together. We would love for as many of you to get involved as possible, so please join the classrooms using these codes and see how you can contribute work. The amazing work you have seen here is just a small sample of the work that we have put into it this year. It's been fantastic to see this project grow so far and we would love to see it grow even further. 
Thank you for listening.